So there are a number of risks that investors face when investing in, in the US ADR. And in the case of DD uh, specifically, given the recent crackdown uh, of, of you know, uh, Chinese regulators against the large monopolies, whether it's cybersecurity, whether it's monopoly uh, behaviors, uh, that risk is there. Uh, so, so I think investors should have priced that into uh, the IPO pricing. In addition, I think everyone's been cautioned about the uh, variable interest entity structure, the VIE structure. Uh, generally, we don't think that is a high risk event, but it is a black swan event. And unfortunately, we are seeing that black swan happening right now as well. So I think a lot of this is really investors are really throwing caution to the wind and not really properly pricing in these risks that, that have always been on the horizon and should have been understood. But why would you blame the investors? Uh, essentially, you're saying uh, that they they kind of uh, overlooked uh, the risks or did not take those risks seriously. Because I think uh, the counter argument there is that from a timing perspective, why is it that the Chinese authorities let the IPO happen, let the listing happen, and then just two days after the listing, crack down on not just DD but other entities as well? Well, so. I think the way one wants to understand regulators in China is you know, regulators generally are quite collaborative, right? They will engage in an informal conversation, uh, address what uh, should be addressed, need to be addressed, and give some kind of guidance, what they call sort of window guidance, uh, uh, alongside that informal conversation. Uh, and uh, you know, I think this is this is this is what sort of normal script. And if you understood that, uh, you'll know like DD probably and many other. You know, Chinese tech companies have probably been in informal conversation with regulators to understand their concerns, to understand what might be deficiencies that they can or cannot address. My guess is, uh, from the standpoint of DD and the regulator, uh, a lot of what the regulators are concerned about uh, are are something they can work out over time and are not sort of structurally uh, challenging to the the current existing uh, business model. But of course, it's not just China, right? I mean, regulators all around the world, Jason, have been gnashing their teeth at big tech for, for years. The only difference is, of course, that China is not afraid to actually use them to bite. So that brings me to ask you, you know, we always say don't fight the Fed. For China, would it be don't fight the CCP? That's absolutely true, right? And I think we should be fair, right? I mean, you know, governments do move markets, right? In the US, the Fed moves markets and in China, the CCP or the regulators move markets and you got to listen carefully to what are the policy objectives. So indeed, if you're going to go by the saying of don't fight the CCP, if you would be therefore wary of big tech, what would you overweight? What would actually be in favor with the uh, with the authorities in Beijing? Well, you know, given this renewed focus on uh, making sure people follow rules, understand the rules, and don't innovate uh, to circumvent rules, I would say, you know, a lot of the tech firms do have sort of outstanding deficiencies when it comes to do they have the proper licensing, do they have a fair business model given sort of current policy objectives. Uh, so I would say it's really the traditional industries. It's a lot of the big state owns, the high quality banks is probably where safety would be if you're looking at accessing China shares.